So I'm just on the outskirts of Naden City and I thought I'd found a ride to Kasarmen where I was going to sleep tonight and then this happened. So apparently it can't be fixed for reasons I'm unaware of. And uh, so the driver just got in some random car and left. Not sure when he'll be back or if he'll be back. But uh, until then, I'm just uh, enjoying the sunset. Good morning, guys. Uh, I arrived in Kasarman at about 4.30 this morning. Uh, I told my taxi driver I just wanted to sleep in my tent, but uh, he insisted on taking me to a hotel. And when I rang the buzzer about five times, no one answered. So I headed to the south of town and I'm now just perched up on this hill where I slept for a few hours. And uh, yeah, check out this view. So a crazy story about that taxi ride last night. Um, my very limited local connections, if you could call them that, in Naden were trying to charge me an astronomical price to come to Kazarman. The road is fairly bad and uh, it does take a while to get here. But uh, yeah, the price was insane. So I was very lucky to be referred to this American guy who's actually a teacher in Bishkek who had ordered a shared taxi to Kazarmen to visit some petroglyphs here. Although the road to the petroglyphs is said to be snowed over for the next few weeks. So it was him and two other people that were supposed to go and he was very generous enough to pay for his two seats that he wasn't taking and having me pay for the third, which made it very cheap to get here. He saved me about 70 US dollars. So I'm very grateful for that. And not only that, he has a friend here in Kazarman that was ready to hook me up with a guest house when I got here. Although <laughs> I got here too late and he was asleep, as was the rest of the town. But that's all right, I found this cool spot up on the hill. Anyway, I'm going to meet his friend at uh, a cafe and he's going to help me get a taxi to Jalalabad because uh, apparently this is a really hard part of the country to travel in. There's not much public transport so really grateful for these new friends that are uh, willing to help me. I apologize if I sound really tired or fried or out of it because I am. This is the least amount of sleep I've gotten since I've been here, but uh, hey, that's all part of traveling. It's all part of the adventure, so today's going to be a great day, so let's get it started.
Kudret kolum dolu baylanım Taştap geçse ne olup de çoçulan Arzu bizge azap oldu gaydağı Asıl geçip bir söz ay çiçeği dağı Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm in my hotel in Jalalabad. I had an amazing travel day yesterday. The road to Jalalabad from Kazarman was just insane. So beautiful. Anyway, now I'm heading to the bus station. It's about a 30 minute walk. I'm heading to the village of Arslanbab, which I believe is about a two hour ride away with one connection in Bazar Kurgan. Once I'm in Arslanbab, I'm gonna link up with CBT because there's a sweet four day loop track that I wanna do. And unfortunately, there's no GPS or any marked routes for it, so I have to go with a guide, but uh, should be a good time. Anyway, uh, gonna grab some cash and let's hit the streets of Jalalabad. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just need to get money. Aslan Uh Yeah, I need, I need money. Money? Some, some, yeah. So, give me your bank. Hello, excuse me. Uh, is this going to Bazaar Korgan? This. Oh, the bazaar corner is not This. Excuse me. Uh, what is this going to bazaar corner?
So where from? America. Ah, America. Which states? California. California. Microphone. I need a guest house for tonight, and then I wanted to do the uh, Holy Lakes trek. Ah, oh okay. yes. Yeah, good. So look, this is map of the village. We we here. You just came from the center. Today yeah. is a Friday. That's why a lot of people. people yeah, yeah. Because I just came from the mosque. Okay. So maybe you're gonna stay in the house number 14, which is close to here. What do you think? Uh, or do you have? I think you have a list, right? Yeah, we have a. With description? Oh, right yeah. there. Okay. Um, and you can see. If you would like special houses, no problem. We no, 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 no. So, uh, they are the same price? Uh, we have uh, three different prices. 400, 550, 600, 800. Ah, sorry, four different prices. Today and before the 400 one, does that include four. dinner and breakfast? Yeah, yeah, 400 is near the school, is a new house. Uh, the for for four hundred is included breakfast. I'll do that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there is one guy like hostel. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. He's uh, another foreigner. He's from England. England. Yeah. Okay. He came uh, before the lunch. Okay. And then if you would like dinner, dinner is uh, three hundred extra. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait a minute, I can call to the lady and then she will send the, the daughter, granddaughter. Can we also talk about the, the track? Yeah. I was looking to start tomorrow. Possibly. Yeah, it's no problem. You need a guide for that? Uh, With a guide will be more easy, more fun, more easy. Yeah, because my GPS, it doesn't have... <laughs> no, because so. you know, we are coming to base tourism, we always try to involve people because we have a really good guides they yeah have money i think i just yeah. need one guide i have food yeah one stone. guide is okay you'll just pay him eight thousand some eight thousand for, for four, four days. days yes okay it's good but you not go through the friendship part because still we have a snow here and then no not possible uh because uh, every day is cloudy and then the snow not getting hard soft snow in the morning it's not possible I don't know. I'm not really sure because, okay. uh, but we will try. We will, we will, we will try to go through French Pass and then come back from this way. Is that the, that is the whole, that's the Holy Lakes track? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, it's look, this. look. The, this is oh, different. Perfect. Okay. This is village. This is French Pass. You see? Yes. Usually we're doing like that four days. First day we sleep in here in the bottom of the French Pass. Next day we are going. Sleeping here, so the here because Ontama is a really good place for making sunset pictures, sunset move. Mm -hmm. Then we're coming back to Arsambov, three nights, four days tour. If you say okay, no problem, we will see how it will be snow. We go because this year it's, it was really strange year. In the in the winter was few snow, but in in springtime Spring came a lot of snow. In Hello. 
Hey, how are you? Good day. All right, guys, so I've made it to Arslanbab. Um, transportation was pretty easy today. And uh, CBT has managed to arrange this really awesome homestay for the night. So. They also managed to arrange a trekking guide for me. So tomorrow will be day one of five, and I'll be trekking the Holy Lakes Loop in the nearby Babash Atta Mountains. It was originally a four-day trip, but I'm doing a side trip to two extra lakes. I'm doing the side trip because with that and uh, the four other days, I think I'll really feel like I've seen all I can see in this range. This will be my longest backpacking trip in Kyrgyzstan so far, so I'm super hyped for this trip. And I'm just going to mellow out for the rest of the night and get some rest. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for the start of the trek. Thank you guys for watching. Das Vidanya.